Bathroom vent fans? Bathroom vent fans. Essential, right? Code in a lot of areas, yeah. yeah. I mean, you want to get all of that moist, stinky air out of the bathrooms and keep getting it out, let fresh air come back in. Yeah, and you want to make sure you get it out of the house as well. Okay, so what are we looking at? So we'll start with the venting. So we typically use something like this. Flexible, uh, a lot of times we'll use the insulated, and the benefit to this is it helps keep it quieter as well. So mm -hmm. we'll get the flexibility of tying this in and a little noise reduction. Gotcha. The other plus is if we use this in an attic, somewhere where it's a not a conditioned space, right. it really helps us out. So if you picture you're in a second floor bathroom, warm, moist air, you're trying to vent it outside, you put this into the attic that's cold, the air is going to, the moisture is going to condense inside this, we're going to collect water and possibly have a problem. Okay, so this is the preferred duct. Yep. We also have to think about where we vent it because the first <laughs> no-no is sometimes you see people just dumping it into the attic, not to the outside. <laughs> yeah, no good. That happens, no good. Yep. And the other thing you see that we don't want to do is they dump it into the soffit. Same issue, you dump it in the soffit, the warm, moist air goes outside, it can be drawn back up into the roof line and really cause an issue as well. Down through the soffit, but as you say, a lot of uh, roofs are vented, it could go down. Down and right, right back, back up. In. Yeah. Okay, so that brings up an issue because bathrooms are not always where you want them to be right. from a venting standpoint. Not always in the easiest location. No, no, right? So a typical bathroom fan might get 30 plus feet, give or take, on the length of run, yep. uh, depending on turns and, and where everything has to go. But that doesn't work in a lot of applications. No. So if you need to go a little further, we can go to something like this. So what am I looking at there? So this is a remote motor for the bathroom fan. So we'd put this wherever it was more accessible, whatever made sense, attic, basement, wherever we could get to it. And this connects to what? That connects to this ductwork, yeah. which would tie into a grill like this. Oh, this is just a grill, huh? That's it. Oh, I assumed there was going to be a little motor in there, but oh, just empty. Just a grill with a damper. So now this can go in the bathroom? Can go anywhere. You can uh, put it in the shower, water closet. No electronics, you can get in the wet area. Exactly. Connected to that. And then a greater distance out of the building, wherever it's convenient, out of a gable end, out of a roof, wherever it makes sense for you to vent it. It's a lot easier to go through a sidewall, like a gable end, and through the roof, and definitely not in the And segment. not in the soffit. That's very cool. So this is sort of an inline motor that goes elsewhere. We then power this and control the fan from a switch or whatever. Right, and what we typically want to do is, minimum, we want to have at least some kind of timer. Yeah, so, I mean, the fans only work if they're on, yeah. and uh, it's not good enough to just run them while you're showering. We know that they want to run for a certain amount <laughs> a of time, a little bit longer. A little bit longer. Okay. So we'd start with something like this typically instead of a standard wall switch. We'd want to start with at least a basic wind-up timer. Right. So this is literally just turn it and it's going to start just clicking backwards. Exactly. And it'll run for whatever you set it, 30, 40 minutes and just keep going. And then you've got uh, a little electronic or digital version, 10, 20, all the way up to 60 minutes depending on which one you push. Yeah. Step up, we'll go to the digital. And then this guy right here. And this guy is actually a humidity sensor. Oh, interesting. So it'll measure this amount of steam that's in the room and run until it feels it's cleared enough. Oh, that's very clever. Right. So the really long shower, that's going to stay on. The it really will. short shower, less. Okay. I like it. And then the guy on the left here, what have you got? So this guy is kind of a new take on the conventional fans you'd have. Looks very conventional to me. So this looks like a more conventional, but it actually has some upgraded features in it. So I see the integrated motor, different mm -hmm. than this one over here. Ductwork power, I presume? Exactly. What's new about this? The difference to this one is, is this has a lot of flexibility you don't have in the older versions. So we actually provide constant power to this type instead of providing it from the wall switch. Constant power to this. So the power goes here instead of through the switch to hear. And then a set of control wires down to the switch that'll tell it what to do depending on what we plug in. And why do we do that? We can plug in any kind of module we want to have this operate any way we want. So we can go from a timer, humidity sensor, motion. Wait, so one of these is, you said this is the humidity sensor? That's a humidity sensor. So you can just buy this with nothing and if you want to control it by humidity, you just pop it into a slot? It's plug and play. So you can pick the module or what you'd like it to do, plug it in and have that option. If I wanted it to run off of a timer, I pop that in. Put the timer in, you can set a delay, it'll stay on after you turn the switch off for so many minutes or it'll run at a small constant speed the whole time. And when you shower, does it you know, go to boost mode? Turn the switch on, it'll turn on to full speed, turn it off, it'll drop back down. Very cool, Heath, great information. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.